Follow on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Alabama Hip Hop Radio. Yo, yo, what up? A new way to listen. It's the Spear Report on the Shamar TV Morning Show, live on Alabama Hip Hop Radio. Mm, mm, mm. So a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been a lot going on with the Spear. Mm-hmm. The message. Yeah. We're finna kick it right off with the tour lanes and Meg the Stallion mm. situation. Mm. We're gonna start it off with the lady. How you feel about that, being a black woman? Get shot in the foot. First of all, I'm not going to put myself into that situation. <laughs> if she ain't seen what that movie was, Harlem Nights. It's, mm. But I would just feel like, yeah, she won. He probably did pull that trigger. But she won because look who she signed with. She oh, going to have the best lawyers. The best lawyers from Rock Nation. She going to have it. So, I mean... I what Tory Lanez got the bad ass haircut. <laughs> he he going bald. I mean, his cute little hot headed midget, but yeah, it's me though. Mm. She got she got more fans than Tory do. It's gonna that's gonna always. Tory got some fans. Though. Tory got fans. Niggas like you. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of both. I'm a, I'm a fan of both. Not so much now, but. Yeah, this whole situation, it was just, oh, it was just a messy, stupid situation. Everybody talking about, like, who she was fucking at first, and she felt like she wanted to kill herself, or, like, not kill herself, but felt like Tori should have just killed her right then and now. Mm. And I'm just like... Nigga, really? Yeah, that's what she said. She said, instead of her going through this trial, she would rather him have went ahead and killed her. I'm like, God damn. You, you just started your stardom. Yeah, that's what it I'm ain't saying. This, it's just the toe. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she knew saying that was going to get her to win. Yeah, yeah. She knew yeah. saying that was going to get her to win. You know what I'm saying? Win. I did uh, like that video where the dude was just like, why you lying on that boy, man? <laughs> 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 why you lying on that boy? Mm. You look good in that purple, though. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was gold. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? It's an unfortunate situation. Uh, I wish none of that shit happened. Thanks. I don't know if Tori did it, even though they did say they had an eyewitness that said, you know what I'm saying, he took the gun from Kelsey and was shooting everywhere. And he mm. shot like three to five times. That's what the eyewitness It might have been an accident. Yeah, he, he probably was just yeah. trying to wrestle the gun or some shit like that. But they said they seen the little guy with the gun. They ain't had to put him out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they ain't had to do him like that. He know he highly challenged. <laughs> he lived that every day. Exactly. But I, I just, it's an unfortunate situation. If he did it, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? But if he didn't do it, 22 years. Free that boy. That's For a toad? Nigga. For, and, and then she was twerking <laughs> like two weeks later. I don't, I, I, come on now. Like, I know people that have broken their foot. And they was in a cast for some months. This bitch right back twerking two weeks later. I ain't even call her a bitch or not, but that's a strong foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. This uh, man finna get 22 years for a toe. 22 years. Not just that. Like, assault with a deadly weapon. Mm. Uh, he wasn't supposed to have it. Mm. And it was, it was another charge. It was like three charges. Mm. It, said, it, it was there not supposed to have it. They got him. That's what I think. <sighs> Not for no toe. Yeah. Fuck that toe. She get she got the money to get a new one. <laughs> yeah. She okay. make enough to get a prosthetic toe. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't, I ain't gonna say Rock Nation had nothing to do with it, but well, what about the witness? Is the witness a part of Rock Nation? She, mm-hmm. Money talk. Money talk. Because mm-hmm. I promise you, you pay me a lot. I tell on whoever. What? He shot my toe. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see that bunion on my foot right there? Yeah. That's the bullet mark. Yeah, that nigga did it. <laughs> Lock his ass up. Mm, I got mm, the news. Mm. I ain't that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, mm. yeah we're going to keep this thing rolling too. Yeah. What about how y'all feel about the whole Diddy and Carisha situation? And they got money. Look, that's his, <laughs> <laughs> that's his sugar baby. Mm, yeah. I mean, if he want, he ain't got, he's single. If he want to trick off. And if you want to spend some money on a couple females, that's that man business. Well, he, that's did how more, he did more than that. He got a whole baby out of him. That's that man business. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody. 
Me, Kenny got 32 kids. He's gonna create a whole. You feel? But they be, they be crucifying the fuck out of me. They be like, he's creating all these broken homes. Bitch, he can create a home with you. You don't know that. That man in all his baby shower pictures. All I up. know six females that ain't got no baby daddy in their baby shower pictures. <laughs> so, that man in all. And then he, then he turning around. It's like. He getting the same women pregnant. His mm -hmm. favorite ones. Yeah. So let that man be him. But just like Diddy, let him do him. That, that's his thing. That's what mm -hmm. he want to do. After Kim Porter, he ain't want to do. He ain't want to be in a relationship like that. What? Not after Kim, but after uh Cassie. 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 Yeah. He was in a long term relationship with Cassie that didn't go well. So he was like, she. He his whole face. Mm -hmm. Oh no 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 no! This is what I'm saying. You ain't see him going off about him and uh, well, her and G Herbo flirting. First of all, know your place. Also in this whole phase, mm. know your place. So he went off about uh, Carissa and G Herbo flirting. Yeah, you ain't see the video. Uh -uh. Yeah, he, he felt some type of way about them. Yeah. He just like, oh, you gonna just flirt and sit there and flirt in my face like that? You got an old nigga giving you money, and then you got the thug nigga. That's the perfect man. Right <laughs> you ain't. <laughs> you not dedicated to nobody. This man is a big time superstar, and you got this nigga. <laughs> G Herbo got, is famous. They got all the drugs, the killing, the rap, all that shit. You feel me? The bad boy that you look for. Not, now you got the other bad boy, but he got a whole fifty year old Nike suit on. That's cool though. <laughs> Don't let it get it twisted. But she got the best of both worlds. She got her thug and her good nigga. She mm. got money coming this way and she got money coming that way. So Yeah. I she win win. Uh, yeah, just a quick message to Diddy. You fucking with a city girl. You shouldn't be surprised if she act up. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit, real yeah. shit. But you know, like Diddy been a city boy. Like that yeah. boy, that boy is probably that's a bad boy. Yeah, that's a bad boy right there. Yeah. That's, clean, that's clean, a bad clean. boy. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all to go downtown and get the best Cambodian bristles. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit, yeah. Diddy had niggas getting cheesecake for him. Right, Dylan. Yeah. Did he got money to do with what he do? Like the rest of us niggas can't really do that shit unless no. we own that nigga caliber. Like y'all niggas ain't even thousand ass and, and doing this shit. You feel me? Of course the bitch gonna act stupid and shit. Cause she expected like the shit to come out of love. Cause you ain't got shit. Like Carisha know what the fuck going on. Carisha know that bag that if she gets some dick and shit, cool. You know what I'm saying? But that bag come first. Yeah. So, Y'all only thousand ass for two months. Hell yeah. That's it could test. Oh God. So, so. I'm gonna make a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they done already bought a car and a first set. That shit yeah, gone. Yeah, that shit gone. <laughs> Like, yeah, y'all, y'all ain't got all these businesses. Y'all ain't got no record label. Y'all ain't over here signing niggas to three sixties and shit. Mm. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Diddy that man, the way, what, he, who he made? What group? Day twenty six. Yeah, them niggas. And and the girl group too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot what. what Danny Kane. Yeah, Danny Kane. Yes. Yes. I remember. Yes. Them. It's a lot of D's. <laughs> 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 he knew what he was doing. He was stamping his heart, nigga. <laughs> Big facts, big facts. Yeah, then we're gonna let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Then this going on too. How y'all felt about the young boy and Fredo situation? Putting their differences aside to come together for a toy drive in Baton Rouge. Ain't no wrong with that. Speak. Put your input in. Yeah, yeah. And then we're I gonna mean, speak in a few no, minutes. I mean, sure. on on that. Okay, so. Whatever violence, whatever beef they had, I understand. But niggas like, died. I understand that. Died. I I probably couldn't be friends with you. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can go on a sit on the bus. Maybe what if? Think about it. What if this was a setup and it was a retaliation and that nigga just shoot his ass on the bus? <laughs> I'm not saying don't do that though. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't with the violence. We so. don't stop the violence. Yeah, hypothetically, we just hypothetically. Yeah, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, 
because I don't need nobody come over here and be like, hey, what you said? <laughs> Everybody eating chips. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, y'all know more about it than I do. I'm always down for niggas to stop violence, but y'all said niggas died. Yeah. Like, died, died. Yeah, it's it's a lot. That's the reason why they fell out in the first place. Like, somebody died real close to Fredo. Supposedly, um, young boy captain them knocked off. So, it's cool. I, I love to see them come together for the kids. And shit like that, and I hope it lasts for a long time. But niggas die by yeah, this shit. Like, Cause like, what if they on this bus together, and they just show pictures of their own homeboys? They got killed by their other homeboy. Yeah, like, like you know what I'm saying. We went to the cl- yeah, you you remember this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Where he at now? <laughs> In a box. Yeah, that's why I'm like, come on now, because, you know, like, the disrespect could stick, like, if they come back and disrespect you, it's, ooh, like, I don't know, I guess I'm too proud for, I couldn't, I couldn't go for it, like, if you kill, like, my best friend, like, it's, oh, yeah. it's up forever. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't talked about it in the song. Yeah. Multiple. Yeah, yeah, multiple songs. Oh, see. And then, see, and then see. they got plaques off them songs. <laughs> Bobby Chuck, with every one of them plaques. <laughs> <laughs> I heard somebody's sister spoke up on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what she had to say? Uh, yeah, she ain't approved of it. I, mm-hmm. I, yeah. She ain't approved. Yeah, somebody, what did she say, like, Fredo Bay went on, what's we call it, real friend or something like that? And then he was just like, um... You ain't getting too system. ugly to get fucked or some shit like that. No, 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 that was a dyke. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was, it was. it was a, um, it was a gay girl and shit like that. And she was like, shit, you want, you want G money, real friend, something like that. He said, shit, you can still get fucked. Right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but who doing the fuck? That's the question. That would, that would be an awesome comeback. <laughs> <laughs> My mom yeah. walking out living. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma just stand up for a little bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about it, Shamar? Uh, I mean, they they more grown than I am. I, I can say that because I don't know. I feel like once that line has been crossed, it ain't no coming back from it. Yeah. But hey, to each his own. If, if that's what that's what worked for y'all, I salute it. But me personally, nah, I don't condone the violence. Yeah. But, Whatever work for y'all, work for y'all. To make records straight, I wasn't sure completely on the whole story, but now that I know the story, you niggas got to die. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you not finna kill my cousin, my best friend, or nothing, and then I just dab you up. Like, I can see if y'all For fall. the kids. Yeah, for the kids. Fuck you kids. <laughs> Come on, not my kids. I love my kids. I don't like them niggas. But nah, you go you. I'm condoning violence. <laughs> I'm condoning. You gotta go. Yeah, like like in certain situations. Yeah, violence is the is the only answer. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's one of them. I mean, hats off to them for doing it. But yeah, you gotta go GTA style, Trevor nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, yeah, we lost a member of the 1017 count. Long live Big Scar. Yeah, man. It's, it's unfortunate that he OD on purpose. And folks was folks in Mobile was just like, shit, so I'm still going to pop my purse. I'm like, come on, man. Like, now y'all don't realize, like, what that shit do to your body? Right. Like, I understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand taking shit, but take shit in moderation. Clearly, this man ain't taking it in moderation. Plus, he had a big ass scar on his stomach, too. So, I don't tell him what the fuck was going on with his body. But, yeah, man, I, I like I like this squad, too. Like, that boy said some shit, boy. He, he, he was one of the hardest ones on, 10, on this new 1017, for real. Like, that I was fucking with, because I still like the old 1017 with Waka Flocka in there. Yeah. But, 
Yeah, he 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 said some shit, man. It's just unfortunate that uh, we lost another rapper this year before the year even over with. Right. To some drugs and shit, like that shit lame. But you know, shout out to his family and everything, and and, and ten seventeen. I hope everybody can just look at this and learn the lesson, and you know, just be blessed. You feel me? Be crazy. Oh, I don't know the nigga. But, <laughs> <laughs> but God damn it. But, I know. Ooh. But <laughs> So the only scar you know is from Lion King. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fucking hate child. But look at this. <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, but on the real tip, like overdose and that niggas is hard headed. So I mean niggas gone you can't make nobody do what they don't wanna do. And it's fucked up how he left, you know. But there's people out here that do meth that look like shit. And then it's, I want to try that shit too. Like, it does, lean, don't matter what it is. Niggas going to do what they want to do. But I do feel sorry for his family. If he got kids, whatever, that's not a way to go. I mean, just coming from a medical mindset, you know, it's fucked up. Big facts. Yeah, just to the people out there. Just, I don't know how many more examples we gonna have to lose for people to understand that the, this pill situation getting out of hand, yeah. and they already lacing it with fentanyl and stuff. Just, oh yeah, yeah, this stuff getting hitting closer and closer to home. Please, just take the drugs as you need them. Too much of anything is bad for you. Please put the pills down. Get help. And I always just like to say this: as a person who do be having mental issues and dealing with stuff. It's best to try to take things on in a sober mind state because the minute you start using vices, you know what I'm saying, and using that as an escape to cope with certain things you're dealing with, that's when the addictions and the habits begin. Yeah. So just try to take things head on with a clear mind state and just try to, yeah, find other ways to cope with it instead of drugs because we don't, we don't need to keep losing too many people to stuff like this. Yeah, especially hard-ass rappers and women. We got a plethora of boo boo ass rappers, you feel me? Big facts. Big facts. So long live Big Scar. I had chains on, I kick a freestyle and let them dangle while I spit. You feel me? <laughs> yep. Now we're finna take it right on to Robbie and Mindset.